Hello everyone, this is Brady with a video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can actually make a video montage even if you've never video edited before. This is gonna be completely free and completely online. It'll take you less than five minutes using an online video editor called NVIDIA. So, let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is actually go to NVIDIA.io. The link will be in the description for you. Once you are here, you're going to be greeted with this screen. Now this screen is the sign up screen. You just wanna to go to the top right and click sign up. This is where you're gonna enter your name, email, and password, and then you're ready to go. Now once you have signed up, you want to go ahead and hit blank canvas since we are going to be starting from scratch. You want to click the dimension you're going to be working with. For example, if you want a YouTube video, you want to go with wide 16 by 9 and vertical, obviously, if you want to use something like on a cell phone. But once you have decided you want to click make a video, and this is going to take you directly into the editor. So once you are actually in the editor, you want to go to the left side of the screen and click uploads. This is where you're going to upload your media to the editor. So you want to put all your video clips in the bin here, and then you are ready to actually start dragging and dropping it onto the canvas. So now that you are ready, you want to take your first clip and you want to simply drag and drop it onto the canvas. This is going to bring up a trim menu where you can do multiple things. You can also go ahead and like mute your audio right here by clicking this button. So it'll get rid of the original audio just so you can actually have your background music show through. Or you can even go ahead and trim the ending of the scene or the beginning if you do not like the beginning or ending of your video. You can feel free to trim it just like that, even change the playback speed. But once you are ready and you are satisfied with your clip, you just want to go ahead and hit done. This is going to automatically import it into your first scene, which is again your first video. So you just want to repeat this exact process for all the other videos you're going to be doing. So you will see this add scene button where you can actually add a completely blank scene. And then you just want to simply drag and drop your other clips over onto the scene, repeating the process for every clip you're going to be using. Now, if you are looking to add any kind of text, all you have to do is go on the left side of the screen and click text. This is going to bring up this menu here where you can see different text styles. You can even add things like call to actions for your social media handles. I'm just going to go ahead and add a default heading. Now, when you add this, you can simply just click on it and it's going to bring up this edit menu. In the edit menu, you can actually change what the text says. For example, here I can just put hello and if i click save you will see that it auto updates on the screen but i think the coolest thing about the text is the actually things you can do with it like animations so by default this is going to be an animated for one second and it actually says none here but there's different things you can do simply like fades you can need to do shifts slides so i really like this slide from the left here and i'm actually going to animate it for let's say you know two seconds and you will see that actually when i go back and hit play you will see that it shifts in from the left. So you can do tons of other things with the text all in this edit menu simply by clicking on it and changing the things that you want. Speaking of transitions, since you are going to be having more than one video here, of course, I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually use transitions between these video clips. So since you are on the editor, you will see that this little slash mark right here, by clicking this, it'll actually bring up all the transitions you can use. Now there are tons and tons to choose from and they actually do display what they do. So let's say for example, I wanna go with this blur. All I have to do is click on that and by clicking that and hitting play, you will see that it automatically blurs it into the end screen, which for me is a call to action to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And again, by clicking on this, you can simply change it again if you would like to set a different transition. Now, if you want to actually adjust your volume by any means or even completely take your volume off to have the background music play, all you have to do is click on your video. It'll bring up this right side panel again. Click video edit. You can turn your volume off here or you can even adjust it right here. You can crank that all the way down and bring that background music more up. Or, you know, just for the sake of it, if you do not want to hear your original audio, click volume off and it'll keep that background audio on and completely get rid of the original audio. So since I have muted the original audio on my video clips, I want to make sure my background music is going to fit my scene and be perfect for me. And a video does have us covered with that with over tens of thousands of tracks to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and go with a cinematic feel and you can just go through and actually preview these. But once you have found one that you want to use, all you have to do is click these three red dots and hit replace music and it's going to replace the music in your scene for you but once you are satisfied with the way your video looks and feels you want to go up to the top right and hit download and share it's going to bring up this drop down export menu when you actually click export it's going to start exporting for you and all you have to do is click this download button to actually get your clip and you are completely ready to go if you want to use this video in a different dimension let's say you want to post this video on tiktok and it's not in the right dimensions for you all you have to do is click the duplicate video and you can change it right here go ahead and hit duplicate it'll take you back into the editor the only thing is you might have to change the things because they might not be in focus for example when i hit play on this you will see that my face is a little bit off to the side but once you're done adjusting it and it looks really good you can then go ahead and hit download and share and repeat that process if you're looking to create montages but don't necessarily have your own footage then you definitely want to check out this video where i show you guys how you can access over 8 million royalty free stock image and videos and if you guys want more creation 
amazing tips and tricks, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our daily videos. This has been Brady with NVIDIA, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.